So let's take a look at how we can use the data sheet to clarify information on registers in our program. Because sometimes we give you code and you may not understand it. So let's look up this register here. So I copied uh, this register. Now let's see if we can look it up in the data sheet. So here's our data sheet for the microcontroller. So let's try to find what we are looking for. All right, so I'm going to do a control F, and down here I'm going to type in the register I'm looking for. Unfortunately, uh, the syntax is such that we're not going to find that. And that's because in the data sheet, it doesn't call it by the underlines. It doesn't use the underlines. So in order to look up a register with find, we're going to have to talk data sheet language, and that is the uh, RCGC2 register without the underlines. So we can search for it. Now there's a lot of them. Uh, they're <coughs> disfounded in the table of contents. Uh, so that's pretty good. I, at the table of contents, I'm just going to click right here. And there we are. This is the run mode clock gating control register 2. And if we scroll down, we can see uh, that the particular pin that we were turning on was bit 5 to turn on port F. So again, if you're going to search the data sheet, make sure you don't use the underlines. And so you can see that this register is defined just with the letters and not with the underlines. All right, don't be afraid of the data sheet. It has lots of information.